Before we jump into the mesmerizing world of Miami, imagine waking up to the sounds of the gentle waves, spending your weekends exploring vibrant neighborhoods, and indulging in the best Latin and Caribbean flavors. If this sounds like your dream, then you're in the right place. Welcome to Living in Miami, Florida. My name is Raymond Goedi Gozari, and today we're turning your Miami dreams into reality. But hey, before we dive in, hit that like button and get ready for the ultimate Miami experience. everyone, welcome back to Living in Miami, Florida. I'm Raymond Goedi Gozari, your full-time Florida realtor and certified residential specialist here in Miami, Florida with your Living in Miami, Florida team. Now today we got an exciting topic for you. Moving to Miami, your ultimate guide to Miami living. So whether you're considering relocating here to Miami, Florida, or just curious about the magic city, we've got you covered. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you can stay updated on all things Miami living. Now let's get started. Miami's not just a city, it's a lifestyle. From its vibrant cultures and stunning beaches to its lively nightlife and diverse communities. Miami has something for everyone. So before you make that move, let's explore what makes Miami such a unique place to live. Cultural diversity. Miami is a melting pot of cultures with a significant influence from Latin American, Caribbean, and European communities. This diversity is reflected in the city's cuisine, language, and cultural events. This is one of the main things that makes Miami so different. The diversity between cultures, so you can be from anywhere in the world, come to Miami and feel right at home. Because it accepts every culture, every way of life, and it reflects that in all the different neighborhoods you'll see. So that's why it's important when you're moving down here to figure out and what's your preference of lifestyle, location-wise, where you wanna be close to the water, not close to the water, what kind of atmosphere you wanna live in, urban, suburban, artsy. It depends on all those factors when you move down here because every neighborhood is a different vibe and that is why it's very important to pick your neighborhood first before you pick the house. Diversity down here is very wide from, like I was saying, Hispanic, European, Caribbean, and not only the neighborhoods, but you'll see it in all the, the dining, the cuisine. And it's pretty cool because you get to meet people from all walks of life. So without having to travel to all these countries, you get to experience all these cultures right here in Miami. You can have people that you work with or friends or people in the neighborhood that you get to meet that are from all walks of life in a different parts of the world. And it's not like they change their way of life. They come here and you'll get to learn how they live, what are they accustomed to, their cultures. So if you like that and you always like to um, experience maybe new cultures or just learn and um, have that, that uh, variety in the day-to-day -day life, then you will love Miami because that is one of the, the biggest factors where it differentiates from any other city. The other cities that are, have a, a lot of different cultures living in there from all walks of the, all parts of the world but I don't think there's any that compared to Miami and you'll have to experience it. Once you come down here, you'll understand. Art and design scene. The city is renowned for its thriving art and design scene with neighborhoods like Wynwood, known for its vibrant street art and galleries. The annual Art Basel Miami Beach event attracts artists and enthusiasts from around the world. Now the art scene down here in Miami is booming and there's always been quite an art scene in Miami but lately um, with all the creative energy being poured into Wynwood from people moving in, from the architecture, from the artists bringing and having um, studios there, Wynwood is probably the, the, the neighborhood with the most influence when it comes to art and not only street art but there's a lot of warehouses that are turned into studios all kind of artistic in either sculptures, paintings, you'll see it on the on the buildings. So it has that vibe, but not only Wynwood, you have Miami Beach that hosts the annual Art Basel, which has become huge all over the world. One of the biggest art festivals uh, worldwide. So people from everywhere, enthusiasts who follow arts, they buy arts, they appreciate arts, they come, they, they look at all this arts, they have food, wine, they have a good time, they have, there's parties involved, and you get to buy all this art that you probably won't be able to see anywhere else. 
And this event is held in, in multiple venues. It's not only getting in one place, it's spread out in different areas. So people come in their boats and their yachts and they make it a, a huge event, big social scene. So it's, it's a big, big thing down here in Miami. It's definitely impacted the art scene down here in Miami. So you have also Design District, which is another area right next to Wynwood. And it's more about fashion. They have a huge outdoor and mall just on high-end brands. It's not huge, but it's huge in the sense where it's only for all these high-end brands, some restaurants, very walkable, very nice area. So it's tied to that whole art scene close to Wynwood. And this area is called the Midtown Miami, where you have Edgewater, Design District, and Wynwood. So if you love arts, you're gonna love this. And this is one of the other factors where differentiates itself from any other city in the in the nation iconic architecture miami boasts a unique skyline featuring a mix of architectural styles the art deco historic district in south beach is famous for its pastel color buildings and is a symbol of miami's architectural identity tied in with the arts the architecture down here is very unique uh, the most obvious one is the one in Miami Beach, especially South Beach, which is the Art Deco style. Very distinct. As soon as you see it, you'll you'll know it, and it goes hand in hand with the South Beach. Uh, people are already familiarized with the skyline of the South Beach, the buildings, the neon colors. So that Art Deco style is a really cool architecture that we have down here in Miami. You'll find it in other parts of Miami, but especially in South Beach. And besides the Art Deco. Lately, there's been a, a movement um, to renovate all these older buildings built in, in maybe the 70s, 80s, didn't have that much style. Uh, and new buildings going up are coming up with beautiful architectural designs. Brickle in downtown and midtown and Coconut Grove and Coral Gables. So it's giving Miami like a new look when it comes to the, the buildings, the architecture and the design and the style and the vibe that's meshing with the, the Miami movements. Miami's been a, a city where lately it's been the hottest place to be. It's always been a um, very popular place, but sort of it's gotten to another level where it's growing, a lot of businesses coming down here, people who have a lot of influence in the financial industry, in the business industry, in the tech industry, and other people are following. It's a very safe city to live in. It's growing, the infrastructure it continues to grow. There's new buildings, bridges, there's new streets, there's parks that we'll talk about in a little bit that have been going up. So the city is developing and it's reinvesting in the infrastructure to attract more people so they can feel like it's um, a world-class city to live in. Beautiful beaches. Miami is home to some of the world's most famous beaches, including South Beach and Miami Beach. Well, South Beach is actually in Miami Beach. The white sand, clear blue waters, and lively atmosphere make these beaches a major attraction. Another reason to move down here to Miami, Florida is that we are surrounded by water. We have the Atlantic Ocean, and we have all these waterways going in from the ocean, Biscayne Bay. There's beautiful beaches all over Miami, all up the coast. It's all public beach, so there's no private beach. Even an area where there's single family homes and the backyard is the beach for these residents. It's private in the sense that it's their backyard there, but once it's on the, the beach, you can go from any other way around. You just have to walk a long way, get to that beach, but most people don't do that. There's plenty of beaches here for everyone. And you also have the Florida Keys if you want to go way down south. A few beaches there, but it's mostly there. Snorkeling and fishing is the, the popular attraction there. So if you love hanging out on the beach, and not only in the summer, because I know a lot of, I only like going in the summer, but a lot of people go in the winter, fall, spring. It doesn't really get so cold that you can't go to the beach. And I've passed by the beach like in, towards the end of the year, and the water looks super clear. Um, so maybe if you're from up north, it's too cold, and this is not that cold, then maybe it's a, a great thing for you to come. But the beaches is a great attraction down here, and you don't need to like plan a trip to go on a beach vacation. You can go on the weekends, or if you have a day off, you can go to the beach. So anywhere you live in Miami, you're not really that far from the beach, which makes it a great getaway or just go hang out at the beach. Doesn't make it a hassle. It's very convenient to go to the beach here. Lively nightlife. The city is known for its vibrant nightlife, offering a wide range of clubs, bars, and entertainment venues. Miami's nightlife scene is diverse, catering to various tastes and preferences. If you love to party, then Miami is your spot. There is so much to do when it comes to that nightlife down here, whether it be in the beach in downtown Brickell, Midtown, the Sunny Aventura, Coconut Grove, there's many spots to go and hang out. Whether you like just 
laid back, bar atmosphere, loungy, el metal music, have a conversation. There's plenty of those venues. Or if you like to go all out and party throughout the night into the next morning, there are spots everywhere. Most of them are gonna be in South Beach, maybe downtown in Brickell. And, and it's amazing partying and amazing nightlife because the music and all these venues is top notch. World renowned DJs come and they, they work at all these parties and they, they do events. So don't be surprised you'll run into a lot of musicians down here when, they, when you're out and about in the nightlife and even stars, whether it be movie stars, celebrities, they are all over Miami. So if going out and you're a night owl and you love to party, then Miami, as you very well may have known, it is probably the, um, the best spot to be because no other place I think in the US opens so, so late, like the nightlife, past five in the morning until the next morning. Uh, again, depending on what part of the neighborhood, but a lot of neighborhoods where there's a lot of nightlife, you'll be able to, to enjoy your, your party lifestyle. Tropical climate. Miami enjoys a tropical climate with warm temperatures throughout the year. The sunny weather contributes to the city's outdoor lifestyle and makes it a desirable location for those seeking a year-round warm climate. In a nutshell, Miami is a very sunny place to live. Beautiful sunny days every day. The winter is the best because it doesn't really get that hot and it's not cold at all. So you can go out, you won't even sweat and it's beautiful outdoor dining weather. But when it comes to summertime, it does get really hot, so I must warn you. But that's when it's the best time to go to the beach, go to the pool if you have a pool in your house, and enjoy the hot because the does not even hot, it gets close to 100 with the humidity. So you'll be sweating a lot. As soon as you walk out that door, you'll start sweating. So the AC and tinted windows in your car is very important. But the tropical weather here is beautiful. And you do get a breeze, so don't freak out that it's hot and muggy. It does get hot and it does get humid. And the closer you live to the coast, especially in the summer, you'll get that nice ocean breeze. And um, it just smells and feels different from anywhere else. Because not only on the east we have water, but if you go down, you have the Florida Keys and then you have the Gulf of Mexico. So we are surrounded by water not too far away from the mainland. Gateway to the Americas. Miami's geographical location as the gateway to the Americas positions it as a hub for international trade, tourism, and cultural exchange. The city serves as a bridge between North and South America, contributing to its cosmopolitan atmosphere. So the location of Miami makes it perfect to do business with other countries in Latin America, Central America, not only trade, but maybe visiting or vacationing, tourism, cultural exchange. So that makes it a hub to the international world, not only the other Americas, but to Europe as well. So it's just located perfectly for in trade, tourism, cultural exchange, and also the Caribbean as well, because there's many Caribbean islands in few hours away from Miami, which makes it very unique from any other city in the country. Diverse neighborhoods. Each neighborhood in Miami has its own distinct character. From the upscale areas like Coral Gables to the artsy vibe of Wynwood, this diversity allows residents and visitors to experience different facets of the city's personality. One of the things I mentioned in the beginning that makes Miami so unique and is a diverse culture and definitely you will see it reflected in all the different neighborhoods that Miami has. So if you like the urban lifestyle, there's many different neighborhoods that fit your style. If you like the suburb, laid back, even if you like farm country or ranches, there's neighborhoods to fit that lifestyle as well. So not only that, but also the culture and way of life of people living in that area. Some are more Hispanic influenced than others. So you'll get to know the different neighborhoods once you live down here, but when you're moving down here, make sure to watch all these videos, get information and get an idea. And most importantly, reach out to us so you can find out what is the best neighborhood that fits your lifestyle. Because that's the number one criteria when moving down here. Once you choose one or two different neighborhoods, then we can narrow everything down and then go house hunting and find the perfect house in the perfect neighborhood for you. But the diverse neighborhoods is one of the unique things about living here in Miami, Florida. Sports and entertainment. Miami is home to major sport teams like Miami Heat, the Miami Dolphins, the Florida Panthers, and the Miami Marlins. The city also hosts major events, including the Miami Open Tennis Tournament and the Miami International Film Festival. And there's a new soccer team that Lionel Messi just joined. So Inter Miami Soccer Club is booming down here. Just because when Messi came down, now we have all 
of the soccer world in watching our, our games and so it, it just brought a lot of attention to Miami soccer and we also have the Formula One racing we've had it for two years already one of the few cities in all of the US that have Formula One racing and it has been a success so if you like that Formula One style racing it's a huge event beautiful they do it around the uh, Miami Dolphins Hard Rock Stadium and the venue that they put out there is spectacular so that's a sight to see if you like sports maybe you're coming from another place I know it's hard to switch fan base but maybe you can watch your other teams play against the Miami teams here. culinary delights the city's culinary scene is a fusion of flavors incorporating influences from Latin Caribbean and international cuisines. Miami is known for its diverse and delicious food offerings from street food to upscale dining experiences. If you love to eat, you will be in paradise here in Miami because we have all kinds of food from everywhere in the world. The diversity is endless down here. So like I was saying, whether you like Latin food, Caribbean, European, any type of food you can think of, we have many great restaurants from fine dining to fast food, within that culture. For example, it would be Italian or Chinese or Japanese or Venezuelan, Colombian, Cuban, Greek, uh, Spanish, you name it, it we got it. And, and again, it's not only high-end dining where you have to spend a lot of money to try these foods. We have in every culture, we have even food trucks and fast food and casual dining to all the way up to upscale dining. And we have I think there's even nice restaurants or like clubs where you can have a dinner with a chef and very private exclusive. So the food scene here is for real. And now we have some Michelin star restaurants, which is a big thing. Michelin star is the highest rating a restaurant can get. And that is attracting a lot of amazing chefs down here to Miami because they're noticing that Miami appreciates amazing food from all different cultures. So if you love eating, you'll be in heaven down here in Miami. Miami is a city of neighborhoods each with its own character and charm. And we'll be exploring some of the most popular ones, including South Beach, Wynwood, Coral Gables, and Brickell. From its art deco architecture in South Beach to its colorful street art in Wynwood, there is a neighborhood that suits every taste. So when it comes to neighborhoods, in, there's many diverse neighborhoods in Miami. And this is where you mostly see the diversity in the city of Miami and all of Miami-Dade County because every neighborhood is drastically different. So when you're moving down here, the first thing we'll ask you is what's your lifestyle? What do you like to do? So you can choose the best neighborhood for you and your family, because that's the number one criteria to having a nice move and uh, beginning here in Miami. Once you pick that perfect neighborhood, the rest is easy. You find the home. Every, every neighborhood has great homes, but you gotta narrow down one to three different neighborhoods where you probably like that may be suited for you and your family. And then the rest is makes it a lot easier and it'll make your stay down here is the, the best possible because if you move into the wrong neighborhood, you're gonna be miserable down here, whether it be maybe it's far from work or far from the things you wanna do or just the culture and atmosphere is not what you expected. So that makes a huge difference. So the diversity is all over Miami, especially in the neighborhoods. And we have amazing neighborhoods. Whether you like the urban lifestyle, if you like urban, definitely recommend the east part of Miami where there's a lot going on, starting with Brickell and downtown, which are just divided by the Miami River. Downtown is right on the north of the river, south of the river, just over, over the bridge, you have Brickell. It's a great, it's a, like a mini New York. It's not New York, obviously there's nothing like New York, but it's um, very city-like where you can live there, work, eat and play, all in Brickell. You can walk around, you don't even need a car because there's a metro mover, there's trolleys or buses, a metro rail station. Metro mover takes you within Brickell but, and downtown, but metro rail takes you longer all the way north part of Miami and then down south to the south neighborhoods of Miami. So it's a very urban city and it's still growing and developing. There's still new high rises going up there with beautiful waterfront uh, views overlooking all of the islands, Key Biscayne, Miami Beach. So it's gorgeous. So if you like that, definitely recommend that. It's, and also Midtown Miami is another urban area where it's growing and you have different neighborhoods in Midtown. You have Edgewater, which is right on the, the bay with high rise condos overlooking the, the ocean and the bay into the Miami Beach area on the east. 
There's a beautiful park there that spreads out the, all of Edgewater. Great dining, very walkable neighborhood. Here you have Wynwood, which is a very creative and artsy neighborhood filled with art on the walls, art galleries, and they have art festivals. It's just infused into the culture of that neighborhood and, and it's still growing. I don't think we've seen the best of Wynwood or the, the has it grown to its potential. A lot of new buildings coming up, modern that fit that neighborhood lifestyle. A lot of new restaurants and bars and this area where most of it's pretty walkable. And then you have the design district, which is right on the other side of Northwest 36th Street. They're all intertwined and design district. There's a few single family homes, but it's known for its fashion. And uh, there's a beautiful outdoor indoor mall where all the high end brands have a staple store there and it's very popular. So you can go have lunch there because there's a lot of outdoor dining restaurants or coffee or just hang out, meet up with some friends, go shopping. It's all intertwined within the Midtown. You have the artsy of Wynwood, the design and fashion style of Design District, and the beautiful luxurious condos on the water of Edgewater all blend into the Midtown area, which is still developing. So it's a great urban spot to live as well. Also, if you want to move a little north, maybe you're going to be working in Broward or you just like the north part of Miami. Definitely recommend looking into the Aventura, Sunny Isles, Eastern Shores, that part of the Miami. It's a very dense area and that's why it's a very urban feel with the high rises. Again, you're surrounded by water, the beautiful part of Miami where all the nice neighborhoods are close to the water. And you have the high rises in Sunny Isles and in Aventura, you have amazing shopping in Aventura Mall. You have the Ball Harbor shops down south, close to Ball Harbor by Hollandale and Ball Harbor. And then just north, literally just north of Aventura, bordering you have the Gulf Stream Park and Casino and Outdoor Shops, which is fairly new, maybe like 10 years. But it, if you go there, you'll see how new it is and how everything is updated and modern. And you have amazing restaurants, shops and bars and nightlife. Top of the, the nice horse racetrack you have there. And you can gamble and there's a little casino. So there's a lot to do in that area. And that's already in Broward, but it's bordering Aventura. So you have all that area where it's very dense. There's a lot going on. You have the beaches, the shopping, activities, and you have there's a park called Olita Park right in the beginning of by Eastern Shores, south of Aventura, just west on the intercoastal of Sunny Isles, which is a huge park if you like mountain biking or just going out for a picnic. There's even a little beach inside that park. And so there's a lot to do if you like that nature, there's canoeing, kayaking. So definitely if this is like your lifestyle and you want to be on the north part of Miami, great spot to pick. Now, if you are a family with kids or just a family or a young couple that just want a, a little more mellow, laid back, maybe you want to look in different suburbs. Uh, well, besides the suburbs, there's a, one of the prettiest and best cities of all of Miami is Coral Gables. Also Coconut Grove, they're right next to each other. They're very laid back and amazing cities to live. Great properties, that maintain their value. A lot of restaurants and a lot of shopping. It, very nature, a lot of greenery. Coral Gables is a more pristine, uh, more well-groomed with a lot of luscious trees, canals running through it. So it's, but it's more organized in the sense of the landscaping. Coconut Grove is a little more wilder, uh, more, more bohemian-like and more laid back. And there's amazing marina right in Coconut Grove. So those two are great options if you like the laid back lifestyle, but still a very quality, maybe high-end living as well. And as you go down south, you have a lot of Coral Gables neighborhoods that are bordering close to the water on the east side and south. And Gables by the Sea, Gables Estates, Coco Plum, higher end properties, single family homes, amazing neighborhood as well, laid back. And you're not far from even the urban lifestyle from Brickell. So these neighbors are fantastic because you don't get that hustle and bustle feel, but you're, you're not that far away from the city if you want to go out for a night or maybe spend a little getaway in there. Key Biscayne is another island style living, laid back, very close to Brickle. Just take the bridge and you're there. Great option where there's single family homes as well as high end condos and low rise condos. A good variety, great beaches, marinas, golf course, it's more island style. Key Biscayne is awesome. So that's another option to look at. And as you go more inland, you have neighborhoods like Doral, which is great. 
booming is a mix of commercial and residential with a downtown and city walk of Doral. You have Westchester, which is a family oriented with amazing schools, the majority 90% single family homes, and it's very centrally located close to the airport. You have Kendall, and again, single family homes, probably 90% with amazing schools and churches and synagogues and very laid back and still Miami is very populated but it's not it's going to be as dense as these urban areas that I spoke about and then you have Pinecrest another high-end upscale neighborhood and close to South Miami and Coral Gables and Kendall on the east side of US1 beautiful estates gorgeous huge homes and definitely recommend it with beautiful high-end old banyan and oak trees tree lighting the streets and then just south of it you have palmetto bay very similar just the prices are a little less the homes there's some big homes but overall they're not as big so they're very similar in look and feel of the neighborhood pinecrest is going to be more high-end than palmetto bay and then you have cutler bay going down south going all the way to homestead and then you have west candle which is a, a lot more affordable but you get more bang for your buck great homes that they're building our way because that's the newest part of miami where miami grew into we can't go past the everglades and build there so the the chrome avenue is probably the it's going to be the west of miami but there's gorgeous homes there very affordable and uh, again great schools it opens up there's more space there's a lot of roads and street and avenues to get to one place to another but the highways don't go all the way down west so once you get over there you got to take streets and avenues and not as central um as other neighborhoods and then you got the north part you have hialeah very hispanic especially cuban population very large great area to live with a mix of single families and condos and townhouses multi-families uh, also great for investment as well a lot of demand in hialeah then you got the north miami park miami gardens Opalaka, miami lakes is another great neighborhood just north of hialeah and the north part seems a little more urban um, I guess because you're closer to Broward, a little, maybe a little more denser and um, neighbors are closer together than the south. The south feels a little more spread out and more laid back. But there's a lot to see. If you want to learn more about neighborhoods, check out this video that I did here. It explains everything that you need to know about all the Miami neighborhoods in detail. And then also this video right here, which I talk about the top best five neighborhoods to live in Miami. You're going to love it and I go into detail of why they're good neighbors to live. But the diversity is endless and you'll notice it in all the neighborhoods down here. But when you reach out to us, we're going to ask you what's your lifestyle so we can fit you in the best neighborhood possible. South Beach is another great place to live. Not only South Beach, but all of Miami Beach is a great place to live. People think that it's only the South Beach, the party atmosphere, but that's only that part of South Beach. If you like that, perfect. There's great housing in that area, whether it be low-rise condos, high-rise condos, single-family homes, but especially like south of 5th, which is south of South Beach, it's not that big. A few blocks, there's amazing high-rise condos with beautiful views there, and then some low-rise townhouse style eh, where you're close to South Beach. And then after north of the South Beach, eh, like 20-something in street, all the way up to north uh, part of Miami Beach, it's very nice. There's a lot of single families, some are waterfront properties there's some little islands you have some nice townhouses and then along a1a collins avenue ocean drive you have all these high-rise condos or some hotels with a lot of condominiums so miami beach is a great place if you want to live right on the beach you can live there and not have to go to the inland at all because work around that area or you work there um you can stay there there's a lot of shopping going on you have the beach all these activities so and there may be your lifestyle where you like to live on the beach, but you don't want a sleepy beach town. Well, Miami Beach is a great spot as well. And it goes all the way into in Bar Harbor, past Surfside, Surfside past Bar Harbor, and then Hallover Beach into Sunny Isles. Now let's talk about the nitty gritty, the cost of living in Miami. We'll break down housing prices, transportation costs, and everyday living expenses. Now, it is crucial to have a realistic understanding of your budget before making the move. So stick around for some valuable insight. All right, whether you're coming down here with a job or you're going to look for a job, maybe you have an extra reserve and you say, okay, I'm moving down here and I'm going to find a job. You should know and do your research on the cost of living of Miami. I'm going to give you a brief overview, but if you want more details, check out this video right here I made about the cost of living in Miami. 
I go a little more in depth about all the different expenses and costs you should expect when moving down here. But Miami, it could be expensive. Now, compared to the rest of the country, there's other cities that are way more expensive than Miami. I was born and raised here in Miami, so I'm considered a local. And if you're local down here, you understand where to go, where to shop, and how to save money and, and not overspend. But it is getting expensive even for the locals. I know a lot of people are moving down to Miami, and that is one of the main reasons that the real estate prices have shot up and gotten very expensive. And we're still not as expensive as other cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, California, New York, New York, even Chicago. Um, I heard Colorado's a little pricier as well. So there's other places in the country that are more expensive than Miami still. For the locals, you ask us, and Miami's gotten expensive. But I know from a lot of my clients coming down here, they tell me how inexpensive Miami is. So if you're coming down here with a very good disposable income or just income in general, a good financial situation, you're going to find Miami paradise. And you're going to ask me, why is it so cheap to buy this house and or to rent this house or to buy this? So across the board, like things like maybe cars some prices that, that don't travel of like they're the same in, in all parts of the country you'll notice it's the same but when it comes to real estate depending on what you're gonna purchase i'm not gonna give you pricing because i don't know when you're watching this video prices change the real estate market fluctuates but i can tell you one thing the miami real estate always throughout time has maintained and increased in value and uh, has a very good rate of return because we're a city with a lot of demand, not only within the country, which we've increased that part now, but internationally. It's a beautiful place to live with amazing properties. There's always going to be a demand. And even if you can buy, there's always going to be a demand to rent because the population is growing down here and there's not enough housing to maintain all the people living in Miami. So that increases the price, whether it be rent or purchase. So when it comes to housing, and we'll, we'll do our research and uh, we'll see what your budget is. But definitely the median house price has gone up. And then you got to consider the property taxes, which I think are pretty reasonable compared to other places. It's a percentage of like the sale. Um, the one cost that has gone through the roof, and that's one thing to consider. So listen up is the insurance cost. And of course, you may all know we get hurricanes. And that is one of the, the driving forces of the insurance costs. And the insurances know that every so often we're going to get a lot of damage from hurricanes, winds, floods, thunderstorms, and they're going to have to pay up. So a lot of insurances have come up into Florida, have left, and now we're only with the citizens and a few have come in. The government of Florida is doing their best to attract and bring more insurance companies to increase competition and drive the cost of insurance down because although the housing could be affordable, the insurance has drastically gone up and has put a strain on people's finances because when you lock in a mortgage, you buy a house, you know that mortgage is going to be fixed for 30 years, but the insurance, if it changes or property taxes, which property taxes, they can increase it over like 3% or certain percentage every year. So as long as it's your homestead, you're fine because it's not going to jump to a astronomical number. But insurance has gone very expensive and this brings a strain to the, to the families because they didn't expect um, that cost to go up so much and therefore increases their monthly housing payment. So that's one of the things to consider. Shop around when you're doing insurance, uh, but hopefully when you move down here, we have resolved this issue, but it is an issue we have down here. We have to drive the insurance cost down because it's getting too expensive. Transportation down here, most people use cars. So gasoline, a lot of electrical vehicles, electric vehicles, EVs. Every day I see more and more EVs in uh, Miami. There's a new Tesla headquarters here in Miami, close to Coral Gables. In public transportation, we have the buses, the metro rail, the metro station, which almost like a sea goes from the south part of the neighborhoods of Miami, Dayland, South Miami, Coconut Grove, downtown, and it goes up north to the north part of Miami into Hialeah. You can take it to the airport. Certain neighborhoods like Coral Gables, Brickell, Doral, and they have trolleys, which is very useful, like within the neighborhood. If you want to go to lunch, or a different part of town you can take that a lot of people are using the electric scooters and electric bikes i'm seeing more and more of that 
as Miami is becoming more urban and growing up because there's nowhere else to grow. I've seen a lot of that in going around, people just taking the electrical scooters, which is very fast and convenient. And again, not for long distances. You have the tolls, and uh, when you go driving the highways, you have the Florida Turnpike and the um, Miami-Dade Expressways. They'll charge you tolls, but you don't pay. You have to get like a sticker called the Sun Pass. You put it on your car, and your windshield, and every time you go by, it deducts it. If you drive a lot like me, you'll be spending like $100 a month, but if you don't, could be as low as twenty dollars a month but calculate that into your cost the electricity there's only one elect electrical company called florida power and light fpl so everybody has to get their electricity through them they try to maintain the cost as low as possible and if you have any questions or doubts they'll go out and check your meters so if the service is pretty good with fpl um, so there's no shopping around and it is what it is a household a family regular household a three bed two bath house it could be anywhere from two to high three hundred dollars a month and especially in the summer but again the bigger your house is the more you use electricity the more expensive it can be water is very inexpensive and we have one of the cleanest waters down here in south florida we have aquifers because there's four feet to ten feet there's water right there so as soon as you start digging we have water there's limestone that filters through into these aquifers and our water system is very clean so you can feel safe that when you drink water out of a faucet or any drinking water here in Miami that is going to be pretty clean and you're not going to get sick. Okay, where I think that Miami gets very expensive is all the temptations we have down here. You're going to have your income, whether your family or single, your regular daily expenses in which are they can add up depending on you know, whether it be internet, electricity, water, your car, your gasoline, your tolls, your insurances. Your car insurance is another one that's gone up. So property insurance and car insurance are gonna be pretty pricey compared to the whole nation. But where it gets very expensive here in Miami is the going outs, the eating at restaurants, the partying, the attractions, the entertainments, all these things that make Miami so much fun are what's gonna take your budget to the next level. And so you have to be careful where you're spending your money because every weekend you're going to be doing something. And then at the end of the month, you, you look at your account and you're like, where did all the money go? Well, it went in leisure, entertainment, dining, all these things. So enjoy Miami, but keep an eye on the cost of living in Miami when enjoying this lifestyle, whether it be the nightlife, the entertainments, the arts, the festivals, sporting events, prices can add up and the costs can go very high here in Miami. But as long as you're conscious, you're aware of all these costs and, and do your research before moving down here, you should be fine. Miami overall is a very affordable city as long as you live within your means and stay disciplined. Miami is not just a place for play. It is also a thriving business hub. We'll discuss the job market, major industries and opportunities for career growth. Whether you're in finance, tech or the arts, Miami might just have the perfect opportunity awaiting for you. Miami is a fun and exciting place to live. That's why it's called the magic city and the nightlife here is endless. It's paradise. You got the beaches, the boating lifestyle, but it's also known for a place of business. And every year it's becoming more of a, a city to do great business in, whether it be large corporations or small businesses. Miami's fabric is in known for their entrepreneurship spirit, small business likes. There's a lot of sales opportunities here, not known for big corporate jobs. The biggest ones we have are Carnival Cruise Lines, University of Miami, UPS, who has big presence down here and FedEx as well. You have American Airlines, but not that many a Baptist Hospital as well. And most of the jobs here are going to be in finance, tourism, small businesses, and lately the new segments and the new industries developing are for example the technology uh, startups the fintech industry is growing down here and the crypto world so these are industries where if you work in these you may want to look and see what opportunities are in miami because all these businesses are moving down here headquarters like the owner of citadel is moving their hedge fund down here a lot of the big businesses are starting to follow them as well and they're looking for employees, employees to grow their businesses. I know they've bought and they've leased a lot of commercial space, especially in downtown and Brickell, in where there's a lot of offices. 
Coral Gables is another area where there's a lot of finance, jobs, insurance, and it's a, also, Coral Gables is also a great place to live, but it's also an area where you may be working in. So if you're looking for a job in those industries, you may have some opportunities. If you're relocating in one of these industries, fantastic. You get to enjoy Miami without even having to uh, switch jobs or start something fresh, just relocating a job as well as living. When it comes to opportunities, maybe you want to start a business. Miami is a great place because it's very dynamic. There's a lot of things you can test a lot of new ideas and a lot of startups are moving. I know California was big in that. Now Miami has definitely been improving in this area. And I know the government sometimes gets incentives and there's a lot of programs for startups. And there's a lot of money here looking to invest in people and business ideas that uh, may work for them and they, they believe in. So. When it comes to job market and opportunities, Miami is definitely improving a lot compared to what it was before. So it's becoming a place where it's fun and leisure as well as business oriented. Miami is a melting pot of cultures and that is what makes it so special. We'll explore the diverse communities, delicious cuisines and annual cultural events that celebrate the city's rich heritage. Like I mentioned in the beginning, one of the unique things about Miami is how diverse the cultures are and the people living here in Miami. And you see that in the neighborhoods, the cuisine, the dining, um, just the way of life and everything about Miami. Just when you when you come down here, it's hard to explain because when you come down here, you'll understand it, you'll feel it and you'll see it with your own eyes how different it feels. It literally feels like you're in another country and now Lately, it's a lot of people been moving down here from other states and it sort of it still feels very different, but it's it feels like it's incorporating itself back into America. And because not not only now we're getting international visitors moving into Miami, but also people from other states of the country. So it's a great place and time to be living here in Miami. So if you love the diversity uh, and you like the variety to try different things in different cultures, whether it be food, ways of life, sporting, games, entertainment, culture, arts, and then you will love Miami because the variety is endless now down here. And I mentioned that in the beginning about the different neighborhoods. That's when you'll most evidently see it because it's not like all Miami and it's all mixed together. Different neighborhoods has a different way of life, different cultures, and you'll experience that. But definitely in the cuisine, the music, the art, the design, the, the pace of life, it's different in different parts of Miami. So when you reach out to us, let us know what you what kind of lifestyle you like, what you're looking for in a, in a neighborhood, so we can guide you in the right direction so you can pick the perfect neighborhood. With its sunny climates and beautiful landscapes, Miami offers a wide range of outdoor activities. From its water sports to hiking trails, we'll guide you through the best ways to stay active and enjoy the natural beauty of this tropical paradise. We don't have mountains or a lot of hills here in Miami. Miami is very flat, but the outdoor activities here are endless. Besides the mountain hiking and mountain climbing, we have everything else from mountain biking trails. Uh, yeah, it's ironic, but no mountains, but the great mountain biking trails or just cycling itself has become very popular down here. Bicycling, uh, how about riding a motorcycle down the road all the way to Key Biscayne in your beautiful Harley, feeling the breeze as something very nice to do if you like that. It's one of the prettiest rides you can take all the way down to Key West, down US 1. Also, there's a boating lifestyle, endless places to go boating, whether it be from the Keys all the way anywhere in Miami. There's marinas everywhere from Coconut Grove to the Sunny Isles area, North Park. Obviously, the beaches, if you're into beaches, you have not only Miami Beach, but Miami Beach is pretty long. You have South Beach and there's North Mid Beach, North Beach, you have Key Biscayne. In Coral Gables, believe it or not, there's a hidden beach where I talk about it in one of the Coral Gables vlog videos. Um, there's another hidden little beach in Olita Park up in Sunny Isles in the Natural State Park, which is a great place. Olita State Park is by Eastern Shore, Sunny Isles, Aventura area. Huge park where it's like $7, very cheap just to pay for parking and get in. And there's even a private little beach. It's great for picnic, kayaking, canoeing, you name it. There's mountain biking trails. There's another mountain biking trail in Key Biscayne. There's different ones all over the city as well. Besides your sports, there's all kinds of sporting events, outdoor activities here. Pickleball has become very popular. Fishing is huge. Snorkeling, because not only 
in Miami. But remember, if you live in Miami, you have access to other amazing neighborhoods like for Lauderdale, Broward, you're close to the west side of Naples, Marco Island, the west part of Florida, an hour and a half away, which is nothing. Nice drive. And you have the Florida Keys, which is paradise. If you love being on the water on a boat, whether it be snorkeling, fishing, scuba diving, or just enjoying the boat and having some drinks in the sandbar and listening to music, which is very popular, great thing to do down here, or just having some nice dinner and lunch and any restaurant down the Keys. So the outdoor activities are endless, whether it be water sports or mountain trail bikes, or even sporting events, golf, if you like to play golf, great golfing down here, and you're close to one of the best areas in golf, I think probably in all the world where Tiger Woods and all the PGA players live, which is West Palm Beach area. Amazing golf courses and very inexpensive because there's so many that they compete. So the prices eh, tend to go down. Well manicured. I tend to go up there a lot. One of my friends moved over there to Boca and I like to go play golf over there. So the outdoor activities here in Miami are endless. If you're seriously thinking about making the move to Miami and have questions or need personalized advice, Feel free to reach out to us via phone or email. Our team is dedicated to helping you make that smooth transition to the magic city. Your dream Miami lifestyle is just a conversation away. That's a wrap on our ultimate guide to Miami living. Whether you're already a Miami local or you're ready to embark on this exciting journey, we are thrilled to be part of your experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you're ready to make the move or you have any questions, reach out to us. I'm Raymond Goidigol Sarri, signing off from the Magic City. And until next time, stay tropical.